Hello guys, good morning and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 1161 that says maximum level sum of a binary tree. So guys this question will help you to develop the fundamentals of traversal techniques of binary tree. So yeah guys stick till the end and watch the complete video. Now here you will be given one binary tree and you need to find the level sum of each level. So that is sum of all the elements at a particular level and at the end you need to return the level id or you can say level that has maximum sum so starting at the root node so the root node would be considered as a level one the next node uh, level would be level two the next level would be level three so for each level you need to calculate the sum of all the nodes at a particular level and then at the end take the uh, label that has maximum sum okay and let's say if the two levels label 1 and level 3 has the same sum then you need to return 1 as our answer uh, and so that you need to choose the smallest level with a maximum sum you need to choose the smallest level with a uh, sum maximum okay so if you take a look at the first example the label 1 the sum at a level 1 is nothing but 1 sum at level 2 is 7 plus 0 so it is 7 sum at level 3 is 7 plus minus 8 so it's minus 1 so from these three levels, the maximum uh, sum is 7 and that is present at a level 2. So yeah, return 2 as your answer. Okay, got it. So this question is a very much simple here. We don't uh, have to do anything complex. We just need to find the sum at each level. So if you take a look at this uh, example, so this is a binary tree. So the sum of this level, so this is a level 1. The sum of all, all the nodes at this level is 40. Sum of all the nodes at a level 2 is 50, that is 30 plus 20. Sum of all the nodes at a level 3 is 20 plus 15, that is 35, minus 35, so it's 0, plus 5, so it's 5. And sum of all the nodes at a level 4 is 55. So if you see and compare the sum of all those levels, then you will see that level 4 has the maximum sum. So yeah, we will return 4 as our answer. So this is our answer. Okay. Now, suppose instead of uh, tw uh, 20 let's say you would have 25 here then the sum uh, then the sum would be nothing but uh, 55 okay so now in this case what you can see here that uh, level 2 has a sum 55 as well as level 4 has a sum 55 so in this case return level 2 as your answer so we will return the smallest level with the maximum sum so this this is the smallest level and this is the maximum sum this level is the maximum sum so yeah that's fine so guys the question is pretty much simple here that we need to find the sum of all the nodes at a particular level and then we will choose the maximum from them okay so uh, whenever you are doing a level order traverser or trying to figure out all the nodes at a, per at a particular level then it is very much intuitive uh, to think of breadth such traversal bfs traversal so yeah, guys we will do the same thing and let, let's first make a dry run so so initially we will took uh, this uh, different um, we can say variables to track different things so this is to track what is the current level this is the q this is the current sum or the sum at a current level this is the maximum sum we got uh, so far and this is our answer so that is nothing but the level that is maximum sum okay now initially we will initialize the level a variable int with one and q we will push 40 to the q so that is the root node to the q now what we would do is we would try to figure out the sum at a level at a current level so current level is one so the sum at current level is 40 so we will traverse this level and we will find that yeah sum at current level is 40 then after this we would check the left child and the right child of the nodes so that is there are 20 and 30 and push them to the q so now the q has 20 comma 30 and after this we will check what is the max, uh, maximum sum and compare it with the current sum so we would see that yeah current sum is greater than maximum sum so yeah in that case update the maximum sum and also update the answer to the current level so current level is one so update it to one now increment this level uh, variable to two now here you we have two nodes that is 20 and 30 uh, at a level 2 okay so we will process so first we will process this node node 20 we will check uh, what is the current sum current sum is uh, we will increment current sum to 20 right and also push the left and right child of 20 to the q so uh, q would have 30 20 and 15 
20 is swapped out so we have remaining 30 20 and 15 okay now uh, at this second level we have one another node that is node 30 so yeah, what we would do is we would take this node 30 add it add the value to the current sum okay and we would pop this node 30 from the queue and we would update the queue so what with what values we would update to queue so initially uh, so currently 20 and 15 were already there in the queue for this two now we would add minus 35 and 5 to the queue okay got it so this is how we would keep on updating the queue it's this like fundamental breadth for such uh, we will do now after this what we would do is uh, all the nodes at this level 2 are traversed then we would check and compare the current sum with the maximum sum so maximum sum so far we have is 40 and the current sum is 50 so yeah 50 is greater than 40 so yeah we would update the maximum sum as well as the answer variable to 2 right because this is the at the side level 2 we got the maximum sum yeah now at a level 3 so at a level 3 we are traversing these nodes and uh, we have in the queue okay now uh, for in the current sum we have what we have 20 because we are processing this node so do we have anything on the left and right channel of 20 no so don't push anything new to the queue okay then the second node we have is 15 so add it to the current sum plus 15 do we have on anything on the left and right channel of 15 no so don't push anything then we are processing minus 35 so add minus 35 and push the left and right channel so that is 25 and 30 and the next is 5 so and the 5 there is nothing on the left and right child so don't push anything to the queue so guys if you take a sum of all this element that turns out to be nothing but a 5 okay so the current sum is 5 okay let me get create some space here so the current sum here for the level 3 is nothing but 5 is it greater than the maximum sum no then don't update maximum sum and keep it as it is as well as the answer as, as it is now in the level 4 first we will process node 25 add the value to the current sum and in nothing is then on left and right so q don't push anything to the q then process 30 add 30 to the current sum there is nothing on left and right so q is now empty okay so the current sum here at the level 4 is nothing but 55 and yeah if you see the maximum sum here is 50 but the current sum is greater than the maximum sum so in that case we would push and update uh, the maximum sum to 55 as well as we would change the answer variable to 4 right now afterwards the queue is empty and we won't uh, process the queue right so we would stop and end our breadth for such call so yeah guys this is how bfs call works uh, okay so we had made a dry run and uh, we found out that how we reach up to answer 4 that is level 4 has a maximum sum so yeah guys the code is same here that we discussed that i uh, initialize the queue with a root uh, the maximum level sum with the int min answer to 1 and current level to 1 now afterwards for each level uh, we would add the nodes values to this current level sum by this way and then we would check for left and right child of the node and push the queue and after we have traversed all the nodes at a particular level then we would check whether the current level sum is greater than maximum level sum if yeah then we would update the maximum level sum as well as the answer variable to the level current level yeah and then after all this processing is done update the current level for the next iteration so yeah guys this is a simple bfs code and now if you talk about time and space complexity so the time complexity here would be big o of n as we are uh, traversing n different nodes and the space complexity here would be also big o of n in worst case so in the worst case this q would have to store n different nodes at a time so yeah that's will that will make a space complexity to big o of n so guys this is the best approach i can say to solve this question but let's say you are in an interview and inter interview uh, it's a, ask a bit tricky question to solve this breadth search approach but using dfs call so if you face any such situation like this you have to be ready and have to be clear how dfs works here and how we can make a level order traversal by using dfs so yeah for that we would also try to make a dry run for a depth first search approach okay so now in the depth first, uh, first search approach we would have to maintain the current level as well as the sum at the current level now here the thing is that we have to take one separate variable like this all, all level sum that will store the sum of all the levels 
So if I, we have to do like this because at a time in a DFS we, are, we would be traversing different levels. Let's say first we are traversing level one, then level two, then level three. So we would be traveling different levels and uh, let's say at a point number at a time two we are updating level one and afterwards at a time it also all again we are updating level one sum so yeah there are different instances at which we update the sum at a particular level in bfs what we used to do all the nodes of a same level are towers at a one time in a one call but in dfs it doesn't happen so in order to store this current sum or the sum for each level we have to take one unique vector and um, based on the current level we would add the sum in inside this so don't get don't worry we would try to make a dry run so that will help you to get more clear understanding okay so initially our uh, initially l would be zero so we would start here from a level zero why because we are storing uh, the sum of each level inside this vector and the index of the vector start from zero so that's why we can uh, start from this l equal to zero that means we would have take this level as a level zero and yeah the before returning the answer just to plus one so yeah it correspond to the question description okay now let's try to make a dfs call so initially we are at here that is level zero that we are at the root node so what we would do we would check uh, what is the size of this vector so we would check if vector dot size is greater than uh, level so level is zero is greater than level no it is not greater than level that means that there is no uh, value or no sum present for a level zero so in this case what we would do is we would say we would v dot push back this value so this is nodes value okay so now after this so uh, on processing level zero our vector will contain one node so initially it was empty right there was nothing so uh, we would uh, see they do does the size of the vector is greater than l no then in this case we would push the new element so it will have this value value 14 okay then after this what we would do since this is a dfs call we would check do we have anything on the left child so yeah we have so we would make a call to this and increment the level to by plus one okay so So now the level is one and we would again check if we do v dot size or do we have any values for a level one no we don't have so in that case we would push 20 to the vector this vector now from here we would check do we have anything on the left yeah then move towards the left and make a call for this by making l plus one so l is two again we don't have anything for the level two inside this vector so simply push back this value now we don't have anything on the left as well as on the right so we would stop we would stop our dfs call now after this our stack would have this 20 element 20 because it's right traversal or right child traversal is remaining so we would make a right travel traversal to this by taking l plus one so this l would be taken for l plus one now so that means l is two here we haven't changed the l to three or any other thing so at a level two we have already some value so what we would do we would increment we would increment for this index so this is index 0 1 2 so we would increment at a at a level to increment the value so that would be nothing but 40 20 and 20 plus 15 that is 35 okay now further this we would check do we have anything on the left or right no so the call goes to this 40 again now we would traverse the right child of this 40 by making l plus one so at this point l was zero so we will again make plus one so l would be one and yeah at level one we have already some value so what we would do we won't push anything but simply increment so it was 20 so 20 plus 30 is 50 and the vector remains as it is now we will move to here so the level becomes two and update the value at this level so that is level two so we will update it to 35 and this is minus 35 so it becomes zero now check do we have anything on the left yeah now this is what this is l plus one so this would be level three do we have any insertion or any value in this vector for the level three no so in that case push the new value 25 okay and yeah there is nothing on the left and right so stop 
move back and make a right call so that would be also for level 3 and the vector would be 25 plus 30 so it's 55 so similarly the uh, we would again make a backward call and we would traverse for this node so that will update the level 2 value to 5 so this is index 2 so that is updated to 5 so at the end what you would be having is yeah, after this uh, the complete recursive call ends and we have nothing on the recursive stack so uh, at this stage the complete recursive call ended and this is our final vector so this is our final vector and inside this final vector what we would do is we would check what is the index of the max or what index has a maximum value so we can clearly see the index 3 has the maximum value this is index 3 so this is index 0 index 1 index 2 and index 3 index 3 is a maximum value and yeah what we would do we would simply add answer equal to index plus 1 so that is 4 because we have a label numbering from 1 so yeah that's way we would return the answer so yeah guys this is a typical dfs approach and yeah if you uh, want to have a specific name so this is a pre-order traversal why pre-order because first we are processing the node then we are moving to left and the right channel so when we process the node first then that becomes the pre-order traversal so yeah this is a pre-order traversal you can say and yeah we have stored all sum of nodes at all level and then we would check which level has a maximum sum and yeah our answer would be nothing but the index plus one and we return the answer so yeah guys that was for the dfs approach and the time and space complexity here also remains the same okay the space complexity here would be uh, a big change would be big of n plus big of h so h is nothing but the height of a tree okay so that will be so this much space would be used by a recursive stack so yeah guys uh, that's all for this video and yeah time complexity is big of n plus big of n because this for loop will again take but overall it's big of n so yeah guys that's all for the complexity part for this dfs approach and yeah that's all for this video if you guys have still any doubts then do let me know in the comment section make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you